Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the logic of SEO. So before watching this video, I request you to please first of all watch through the creating website on own course and then the introduction on this digital marketing course and then only proceed to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most famous term SEO, which I'm sure that you must have heard so often. If you watch this entire course and make notes of it, I promise you, I promise you that you can crack SEO in the simplest manner. I'll give you the secret. Remember my words. Just remember my words. Treat search engine as human and you can decode its algorithm. I really request you to watch this video to the end. Watch this video twice or thrice and you will know how to think like a search engine. Once that is done, you can really master SEO immediately. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. In a nutshell, it is about optimizing a website for the search engines and to rank high for the keywords. SEO experts are one of the highest paid consultants globally. I'm going to discuss from backwards what SEO is all about. The true SEO experts are the ones who think like search engines. If you want to become good at SEO, I tell you, you need to think like a search engine. And what are search engines? What's the principle behind it? I'll share it right away. If you can understand this, believe me, half of the job is done. I repeat it again and remember these words, treat search engine as human and you can decode its algorithm. This is the key. So let me ask you a question. What would you do if you were designing the algorithm for the search engine? How do you rank the website? If you start thinking like that, then you'll be on your way to become a SEO expert. So let us learn how to think like a search engine and build a search engine theoretically. Okay, so we'll make a directory of all the websites in Mumbai. To start first, our work would be to list all the possible website that exist in Mumbai that can be accessed in the public domain. So how would you discover all the new websites and add it to your directory? So one way would be to find out the links from one website to another and you will follow the links from one website to other and see where it goes. And that way you will land on to new websites and this is how you will discover them. This process will give you the list of websites for your directory. But are these website URLs alone enough? Now say that users are searching for website in your search engine. Of course, they would want to know more than just the website URL. So you write down the title, you write down the description of the websites and your own understanding of what the website is all about. So let's say that there are 100 websites on restaurants, 100 websites on colleges, and 100 websites on fashion blogs. Now if somebody searches restaurants in Mumbai on your search engine, then you can list all the website of the restaurants. Now if you want to build a search engine for the whole world, you cannot visit all the websites manually. There are billions of websites on the internet. The creators of Google knew that it's impossible to visit these websites manually. So they built the crawler. So crawler is a robot that visits all the websites in the world it discovers new websites through link as one website links to another the crawler will follow and see how deep the chain goes if I search for computer then Google will show me all the websites which would be about computers so this is website discovery on a large scale but is discovery enough let's go back to building our search engine you have to discover all the websites that are available until there is nothing else to find and list down all the URLs. So here you have solved the problem of discovery. The next problem to solve is relevancy. 
because you are not a website directory only you are a search engine you have to give relevant information based on the search queries of the users that's why you need to collect more information apart from the website url during the discovery phase so you collect the title and the keywords if you have researched a bit on seo before you would have heard of this term meta title meta description and meta keywords so what is this meta so meta is data that describes and gives information on and about other data if someone searches for restaurants in mumbai you can display all the restaurant websites along with the title and description if this data matches with the keywords you have actually solved the problem of relevancy being a search engine you'll have to show relevant results to your users based on what they are searching if someone is searching for restaurants in mumbai you can't show schools in mumbai you are solving this problem with the meta data information relevancy is usually based on the on page information a restaurant website should have the keywords related to food school websites should have keywords related to education based on this keyword matching you can show relevant result to your search users if you become the number one search engine in your city you can also give guidelines to all the people who have websites you tell them to use the correct keyword so that you can solve the problem of relevancy for your users and send them the right customers a search engine like google issues guidelines to web admins to submit their content in the google console relevancy is usually solved by the on page information using the right content on the website with the right keywords optimizing the on page data and information is what we call as on page optimization but is this enough what about the quality of the results the second biggest problem that you will face as a search engine owner is the problem of quality let's say that somebody searches restaurants in mumbai you list 10 restaurants what if you list the worst restaurant on the top and best restaurants in the bottom people will stop using your search engine if your recommendation are not of good quality so it is not enough if the search results are of good relevancy you also have to take care of the quality and here it means sorting it from the best to the worst to solve the problem of quality you cannot collect data from the restaurant owners who own these websites because every restaurant owners would say that they are the best every restaurant title should be the best restaurant in the city everybody likes to call themselves number 1 so to determine quality data has to be collected from the people who visit the restaurant basically the customers let's say that apart from the 100 websites there are a lot of bloggers and social media users in your city you can try to guess which is the best restaurant based on the user data you can find out how many times a website is mentioned on the social media how many times a blogger linked to the restaurant websites if there is a restaurant that has no links or no mentions you can safely assume that this restaurant is not popular you can safely rank it last if there is a restaurant which people keep on mentioning on the social media and if the bloggers are linking to it then you can rank this restaurant on the top when you are giving high rankings to the restaurant websites that are truly and honestly popular among the people then your search engine users will love you because you are making the right recommendation that's how you solve the problem of quality and this is what we call as off page seo a big search engine like google has to make right recommendations they do it by collecting the user data like backlinks brand searches review time spent on the website and hundreds and hundreds of other factors as a default rule off page seo is supposed to be done by the users not the web admins that's why google is not happy if someone goes out and builds backlinks to their websites because you cannot vote for yourself always remember google loves you 
only when users love you web admins are only supposed to solve the problem of on page seo by giving correct information to the search engine and using the right keywords on the websites the user of a website will do the off page seo and not the web admin users behavior will give insight to the search engine to find out which website is better and they'll rank it better backlinks are not built they are earned now say that if your search results are getting tampered because a few restaurant website owners are faking quality through fake social media mentions and fake blog links how would that make you feel that's why google keeps on getting smarter and smarter every day and make sure that people do not fake their quality faking the quality signals of your website is what is called as black hat seo and this was a trick that used to work maybe five years down the line but as you know google keeps on getting smarter and just wipes off their ranking in one update and this doesn't works for the long term the only seo that really works i'll tell you the only seo that really works is to make good quality content and distribute it always remember Google loves you when the users love you. Make good quality products and services and make the customers happy. It is the responsibility of the search engine to make sure that they discover that you are the best. Google has become pretty smart and does it pinpoint perfect. So let us recapitulate it all. Search engine crawlers discover websites. Make sure that your site is up so that it can be discovered. Search engine crawlers then read your metadata and scan your site data for keywords make sure that your site is about one specific topic has the right titles and descriptions and it should have the right content for your users this helps the search engine to rank relevant website on the results search engine crawlers look at the social media mentions backlinks user behaviors such as time spent bounce rate pages per session and hundreds and hundreds of other factors to determine the quality of your website this helps them sort the website on the results according to the quality so on page seo is relevancy and off page seo is quality web admins do on page seo and users do off page seo and this understanding is important for you if you want to become a seo expert if you fail to understand this fundamental concept you cannot become a seo expert with all the tools tricks and tactics watch this video once twice thrice so that this concept gets clear and you begin to think like a search engine because if you are well versed in this then believe me half of the job is done in the next video we're going to talk about how to do off page and on page seo